Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to my 100% completion and collectibles guide for the planet of Ilum, or Elam, from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. For the last time, here's a quick recap of the trophies we're going for with this series of videos. Each planet has its own video, and they're all linked in the description below. You should already have the trophies Medical Droid, Data Disc, and maybe Green Thumb if your plants have grown already. There are no seeds, Cordova Logs, or Stims on this planet. I'm doing this after finishing the story, so some of the routes that I take may be slightly different if this is your first time through here, but I will explain where you need to go. The way this guide's going to play out is that I'm going to clear each region out one at a time, and I'm going to go around the map roughly in the same way you would during the story. There are timestamps below for the start of each region, along with a list of what you can expect to find there. Okay, let's get this final planet done. Okay, so once again we're starting at the landing pad, or where the ship lands anyway. Uh, the first area we're going to is actually called Shattered Lake. If you saw that little uh, yellow mark there, that's where we're heading. It's a new area. You need to definitely go here for the 100%. This is going to be Force Echo 107, Force Essence, and it's going to be a uh, secret as well. Just three more secrets uh, in this area, and that'll be all of those done on this planet. Uh, so just to um, clarify something there is a Cordova log on this planet technically but it is story related it's right at the end you don't pick one up so if you don't if you finish the story uh, and then have done these uh, followed these videos along you'll already have the trophy by now if you haven't and this is your first time doing this then you'll get that trophy after finishing this area once you get the um, oh, I'm not going to spoil it I'll at the end of this area, that's when you'll get it. So that was the first um, Force Echo then. And we're going to do the um, the long run all the way to the top of... Look up, there we go, we're going right to the top there where that circle is. <laughs> that's a long way. But um, like the rest of my videos, I'm just leaving it all in so you can see exactly where I'm going. Uh, like I've said in the others, I've only done the story, finished the story, used the story path, I'm not deviated at all. So the areas I go to in this video is all you need for the 100% on the uh, the hollow maps for BD's hollow maps. So you can see there that bit's open, if the, you come in here for the first time uh, that won't be open, that opens up once you're leaving this place. So that would be why that's uh, like that. So don't worry about that. We'll climb all the way to the top of here. A long way up. And there's going to be a chest up here, and there's also going to be a force echo up here as well. And one hell of a view, to be honest. Come on. Right, so the, the force echo's in that circle area there, and, but firstly we're going to go and get the chest, which is behind us here. Turn around, there we go, just got to break these icicles down. And you can see it there. So not many to go now. There's not much on this planet at all. This is a what is it? A 14 minute, 14 and a half minute video, but most of it is traversal. There isn't actually that much on this planet. Yeah, that's one hell of a planet. Might have to come here. Might get the screenshot there. You, might, you may have seen that on the screenshot, or I may have gone somewhere else. I'll decide later. So the next place we're going is the Jedi Temple. There's just two here. Um, you can jump off the side here uh, it's about halfway up you'll jump off you can go try and <laughs> I didn't want to chance it because I was recording but you can try and grab on further down uh, so as you're coming halfway up here you'll have noticed you can actually go off to the left uh, there I try and drop and it doesn't work it worked the first time on my practice run but there we go uh, so here, you drop down here, and this is the way in the first time. This is the way you would come into the Jedi Temple. Weirdly, that this this rope is um, where it's supposed to be, but the door isn't open. So if it isn't for you, you'll just have to redo this. You'll see it opens up again, and then just re-put it in there. And that'll hold the door open. BD's trying to scan something, but it's not needed for any trophy, so we're not doing those. Um... If you're coming here for the first time and you're struggling with this puzzle in here or don't know how to figure it out, I do have a separate video for it. 
and it will be in the top right corner there will be a little card coming up now is it there I don't know I've not put it there yet anyway you'd need to finish the puzzle in this area before this will open up but because I've already been here I'm just gonna run straight through but if you need to see it there's a separate video for that so you saw there there was another um, bounty hunter there's quite a few of them all the way through been trying to get me <laughs> but no time to take them on let's get this finished so this next chest is in the water here it's just on the left here can't really miss it to be honest and then the force echo is going to be come on in that there that little um, cave there you can see off to the right we're just going to swim and swim in there get out the water and it'll be right ahead of us and that's it for the Jedi Temple section but for the sake of continuity I'm going to start the next area exactly where we are just so you know where I'm going you don't want to get turned around so you can't find where you're going there's nothing more annoying <laughs> okay that's that so we're gonna start before we even jump in the water we're gonna go from the Jedi Temple and we're gonna go down to the Crystal Caves there we go so yeah a lot more traversal here to get to the first um, four cycle this first life essence this is the last two life essence life essences is that right uh, we're gonna get those two one after another now and the last two secrets as well oh I should have cut that out but I haven't done sorry about that yeah loading times this they've seemed to hit had them fairly well with those slow crawls through tight spaces but sometimes they're just out in the open like that but uh, it's not too bad another scan there for BD1 no time come on let's get these done drop down here this is again this is all the way you would come normally if you were exploring these caves for the first time you can come down here and you'll be doing this little bit of sliding here slide into a wall run into a slide and then some climbing and you can see there is the meditation point up top that's where we're going well that's where we're headed and then the two statues here we're going to go left and they're both here they're both in here they're both the, uh, the le essences but it's two split paths so we have to take care of these guys quickly come on Oh, missed completely. Oh god, this isn't going so well. And stab, and finish. So we're going to go off to the, the left. I know I'm turned around, but as you come into this area, this is the left area first. Break these icicles down and basically just get to the end of this little traversal bit. It's a big loop. That circle you saw next to the meditation point, that's where we'll be coming out, the circle in the floor. So yeah, this is obviously a hidden loading screen. So weirdly they've managed to hide some of them, yet some of them uh, are in the open. So you come out here and we'll do some more sliding. Oh, and a bit more wall running. And that's it. Jump across and you'll see the, uh, the force echo next to this blue block, which we are obviously going to be smashing or pushing in a minute so that's secret number 31 life essence 2 of 3 that's the, the second to last life essence and the second to last secret so push this down you get a pretty cool collapse of uh, the cave there and then you just climb up here and we'll, we'll be next to the meditation point again we're going to go straight back in where those statues are and we're going to go off to the right this time. So this is where that fight was, and then off to the right. And off to the left. Normally you would go straight on there to uh, bring the big boulder down so you can cross the canyon, but we aren't doing that because we've already done it. Or we'll be going that way shortly, but I have already broke the boulder down. But if you come in here for the first time, you'll have to do that. I'll show you where it is in a minute. So you're just going to climb up here. 
jump across and then this is a bit of a weird jump he can quite easily miss this you see it's a bit of a weird animation he sort of jumps and doesn't maybe it just feels different when you're controlling it anyway this is the last life essence the last secret won't get the trophy yet because the secrets and um, chests are tied together in a single trophy but is that is the last secret of the game I'm gonna go and get the second to last the penultimate uh, chest now so this is the story route you would come this way Get rid of these guys. You can see the chest there. It's a slice chest. So we'll have to get BD to open it for us. I don't know why he didn't properly pull towards me. I got me turned around then. I was always looking I was already looking forward to opening the chest then. <laughs> anyway, game to crack it open. Get that open. Tell a lie, this isn't the penultimate one. There is another one after this in the water. And then there's the last one. But before that, we need to go and get Force Echo. Not that they're needed anymore. So this is, you would come this way, and then on top of here would be a block, and you'd push it down, and it would create this walkway down below us, and you're able to carry on. So you jump across here. Instead of going up, we're going to go down. And there's another force echo down here. Obviously, if you've got the trophy and you're not bothered, you don't need to come and get all of these. But for the sake of completion, I've left them all in. A young one dropped this during your test. I wish they'd explored the this world more nice than uh, Dathomir. This, I think this would have made a better one. I know it's quite desolate, um, but I just think it looks better. And they could have done more with it. Had some wampers or something, that would have been cool. I know that's... Um, Hoth, but I don't know. Something like that would have been good. Still don't really like Dathomir. Anyway, here's the next chest in the water here. And there we go. So, this isn't Crystal Caves done. You're going to see the name change in the top left in a minute. It's going to change to Imperial Trench. There it is. Um, we need to go through Imperial Trench to get to the rest of Crystal Caves. Now, normally you will go into that water there and continue on. But after the story is done, you can't go that anywhere that way anymore. It's blocked off. This is the way you would leave the cave. You'd come through here. So we're just going to get this last chest. It's in Imperial Trench. This is a secret area, so this will be 100% and the final chest. So we're going to get two trophies here. Bit of pop in there. So this... Here we go. The last thing we're going to get is a Force Echo, so if you're not bothered about that, this will be the last thing you get. There we go, Collector. That's for the um, chests and secrets. Just get rid of these two. There we go. I'm going to open this door up. You'll recognise where we are. This is where all the droids are after the story. Oh, after, the, uh, after you've been to the end of this so this is Imperial, there we go, Galaxy Far Far Away, that's for 100% on all um, BD maps, all the hollow maps. So we're just going to go into the cave with the uh, crystal, it's back to crystal caves now. Um, so you would come out, you'd emerge out of the water here, just off to the right there, that little gap. And that is it. That is the final force echo, that is final everything, everything done. If your seeds haven't grown yet, um, by the time you've come, gone back to the ship, you will have to wait a little longer. Just go and run around, do some extra things, whatever you need to do, and they will um, flower eventually. And then you'll get that trophy as well. Just show you the maps here, all done, 100%. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this series and it's helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.